Yes, guys, welcome back to the Spurs Talk Show. First interview of the night. Tottenham have just received first loss of the evening, or first loss of the season. Tottenham won Chelsea 4. I'm here with Jordan. How are you feeling, Jordan? Uh, not great after that result, to be honest. Um, I don't even know to start. There's so many incidents in the game. We went 1-0 up. I feel like after the first 10 minutes, we were all over them. I expected us to go on from there. Um, you know, we get that disallowed goal. Um, from uh, who was the offside? I can't remember. Was it? Sunny, Sunny's goal was offside. Yeah, by, by a millimetre or two. Apparently, I feel if we go if we go two and up there, we can see this out like we have done previously. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case, um, and then it played out from there. Um, yeah, I'm just devastated <laughs> to be honest. I, I don't know really what to make of it. Obviously, guys, for what it's worth, we're sat in the stadium, so we don't get any of the access to the uh, the VARs. Yeah. There's, or any of, there's a lot of stuff I need to watch back. Um, there's so many incidences. I can't think of a game where VAR has checked so many things. Um, whether they were right or wrong, I don't know. There's offsides, there's fouls, there's handballs, there's penalties. I've got to have a look back to have a proper comment on it. But From what I've seen, mate, Romero looked like it was a petulant little flick, similar to David Beckham in like the 98 World Cup. I don't know if, that, if that's fair, because uh, I haven't seen it back properly, but I've seen it on Twitter. Yeah looks like just a reckless unnecessary decision it's really cost us well they're, they're his red card yeah do you know the thing with this is I've watched that one back a couple of times um, and obviously they're saying the follow through and he gets a red card for me I'm thinking he, he clearly gets the ball first but when in a tackle are you, can you not follow through what's, it, what's he meant to do I mean there's, there's people going to say it's a red card it's one of those subjective ones but he's gone in with his studs Wait, it's, sorry, is this Romero or you dog you're talking about? Sorry, this is Romero's, um, you know, the when they gave the penalty away. Oh, OK, sorry, yep, go on, carry yeah, on. Yeah, so, um, yeah, he's got the ball and he's followed through with his studs. Um, I, I don't know what to say about that. It's a red card, it's not a red card. For me, if he gets the ball, it, what's, he, what's he meant to do with himself? You know, it's just one of those things, but we've seen those given, we've seen those not given. Yeah. And then, obviously, they get the penalty um, and they score from that, so... The Doji one was, I'm sitting in the south stand, so that's the other side. I've not really seen that one. Yeah. So I don't know if you've I looked at that back. It, it looked, that looked very similar to a lot of the trophy, a lot of the tackles we've seen this season, where it's kind of rolled over the top of the ball. You know, and if Tottenham get away with it, you're going to definitely hear from rival fans. It was similar to the, the Liverpool, one of the Liverpool guys that did the same thing here, similar to what's happened with Man United, Casemiro in the past. I don't know, there's no consistency. But from what I've seen on Twitter, Romero's red was a red. Uh, Udogi was lucky to stay on the pitch. Apparently, Reese James also threw an elbow whilst on the yellow card. I saw that one as well. I mean, that's one of those where you go, was it intentional? Did he mean it? How much contact was there? You know, I, I've, I've only seen the still image and it looks like he's gone in with his elbow, but obviously they haven't seen it that way. So, you know, it's one of those things. They obviously keep 11 men on the pitch. Um, and when we're, we're, we're two men down, we've lost both of our centre-backs as well. You're thinking this is going to be a pretty difficult night. And it turned out to be. I, I was thinking we, we, can, we can hold this out purely because of the quality. I, I didn't think Chelsea had the quality to finish us off, even with nine men. But when you, you can't account for losing <laughs> two of your best centre-backs. Madison goes off. I don't know, was it a hammy or was it something else? From what I've heard, I don't know, again, we're seeing this talking without knowledge but yeah. um, I heard from someone that Madison might have a, a knee like a ligament like a medial knee so in the Van injury Van Der Ven Ven's got the hamstring injury so he looked like he was in agony which looks to me like a, not just a pull or a strain but a tear if that's the case he's out for months not weeks three months probably and, for a hamstring and, and this, this was my fear so we, we've got Romero was Romero a straight red or was that a second yeah. Romero straight red so he misses at least two so at least two games and then we, we're out Van Der Ven our centre back partnership is <laughs> is the, se is, is the season whatever expectations we had at the start maybe everyone was starting to reset those expectations after our wonderful start um, now that we know we're losing Romero for two and Van der Ven for probably 10 12 whatever a long time is the season relatively reset back to a, you know just a European spot as the ultimate aim now I, I hate to think that way and if, if what happened tonight didn't happen so if we didn't lose Romero to a record and Van der Ven to an injury I wouldn't be thinking like this, but this was a very decisive game, I think, in our season. Yeah. Um, we're still relatively early on, but we've seen how good they work together. Um, the composure that Van der Ven has, well, his pace and the composure that Romero's had. I mean, up until today, uh, you've got one yellow card or something like that in the whole season. I thought it did, this guy's, you know, sorted it out up there. He's, he's not going in rash. Yeah. 
Um, we reckless today. Yeah, and it, and, it, and it just shows you how quickly things can crumble. <laughs> and yeah. I don't want to be too negative because before the season, um, this is a rebuild, we've got a brand new manager. Uh, we wasn't sure what was going on with the player situation. Um, so I don't want to be too downbeat about it, but when you see something like that, um, who would expect us to lose 4-1 against Chelsea at home? <laughs> like, in, the, in the end, our, our resolute defending sort of didn't hang out. I thought we was like after 70 minutes. I thought we got a chance here. We could just d- d- sort of dig deep and, and set, see it off. Yeah, but yeah. ultimately, it was it was just you know, too much, too, too many waves of attacks. I thought we could rely maybe on a on a set piece. You know, we was going to sit back automatically when you go down to nine men um, with the man advantage that they have. I thought we can rely on a on a on a corner on a free kick. Uh, I think Benton Core came close to Benton Core um, from Poro's free kick. Um, Dyer's got the disallowed goal. So there's things you can say. You know, yep. it could have been different if those. Yeah, we had the ball in there three times as well, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, and, but and, and you know they they've had disallowed goals as well. I think it was I think it was a freak night tonight. I don't think you'll see many other games like that this season. I couldn't quite believe what I was watching in the first half, um, but we we have to come away with it. And yeah, it's it's disappointing. Um, How do we rally for for uh, for Wolves, mate? We got obviously it's six days away. No, five days away. We now have no Van der Ven in all likelihood. Obviously, no Romero. Madison might be out injured. Um, you doggy looked like he was suffering towards the end. Sonny put everything into it. Um, what do we do in terms of at the back? Let's start with the back, just to, fact, just to sort of round off. Do we go with Ben? I mean, what do you think of Eric Dyer, by the way, his performance tonight? Uh, he came on, and I, I'm, I'm not a fan of Eric Dyer. I don't think many people are. Um, it's not to say he doesn't try. I just purely don't think he's got the talent. But he came on, and I think he did a job today in the circumstances. Yeah. Um, he scored a good goal. <laughs> uh, if that's not disallowed, then we're coming away from this saying Dyer's come in and done a really good job. I still think he has. But whether he can come in as the starting centre back, um, whether, whether he can come in and start in centre back, I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure. Um, and then we have to look at the other options we've got as well. To be honest, Sean, I, I don't know what, <laughs> what we're going to do as centre back. Um, it's a Lots dilemma. to talk about, mate, this it's week. Jordan, are you on uh, Twitter? I am. Uh, not on Twitter. Um, Instagram, socials, I'm, I'm on Instagram, I'm underscore Jordan Stevens192. Um, so you can probably catch me on there. That's probably the best place to catch me. So. All right, mate. Wonderful. Thanks so much for coming on, buddy. Appreciate you, mate. Come on Cheers. again. Cheers, Thanks Jordan. Come on, you Spurs.